How's it going everybody? Welcome to another episode of Sick Air TV and today I'm going to be going on over the Motorola One Ace 5G. Now this phone came out some time ago and I was able to get my hands on it and I've been using this for about three weeks now. Really good device for the money. If you could get this for under $300 it's definitely a good buy. So we're going to go over uh, some of the stuff I like about it and some stuff I don't like about it. So let's jump down into it. But before we do, subscribe to this channel. If you end up liking this video, give me a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down, that is quite all right. So let's go ahead and jump down and get started with this. So the display is a pretty nice display. It is a uh, 6.7 inch IPS display, uh, 1080 by 2400, and it is 20 by nine. You get 393 pixels per inch. So it's a nice display. I would have liked to seen an AMOLED display on here just cause uh, I don't like LCDs, they prevent you from having a uh, always on display. So it's pretty much just an ambient to where if you lift it up, it'll pop up the ambient display, but then it'll go back off. So I would prefer some sort of AMOLED on here just to give it more punchiness and deeper blacks, but it's still a nice IPS panel, no issues. Uh, it could get a little bit brighter, but I think it still does the job pretty well. Colors are really good on here, uh, no issues whatsoever. Uh, yeah, other than that, uh, the punch hole too, I would prefer to see just a little bit smaller punch hole on there. It is quite big, but not a deal breaker. Uh, usually get used to things like that. At least that's not a notch. So going on over to the uh, speaker quality, it is only a bottom firing speaker. Audio on here sounds okay. It's not the best. I uh, would have preferred stereo speakers on here but you do get a lot of you do get audio effects and this does uh, I guess adapt to whatever you're listening to so it would switch on over and read like say if you're using Bluetooth headphones it'll adapt to that if you're using wired headphones it'll adapt to that too and the audio on here as far as Bluetooth goes sounds really really good um, with the Bluetooth audio the headphone jack uh, it sounds okay, it's decent, but audio on here, Bluetooth, really good, speaker, not so great. We're going to go ahead and play a little clip of the uh, speaker to let you know how that sounds. So yeah, that is how the bottom firing speaker sounds. As you can see, it's okay. It's not that great. Would have preferred stereo speakers. Going on over to uh, performance, you do get a Snapdragon uh, 750G with 5G enabled on here. So uh, this phone is a bit snappier than I thought it would be. It's got six gigabytes of RAM and 128 gigabytes of internal storage. And you also do get a micro SD card setup. Uh, slot. So that's really, really good. A lot of phones don't offer that, but six gigabytes of RAM on here, coupled with Motorola's um, sort of stock Android skin on here. This thing flies pretty good and no issues with stuttering on here whatsoever. It is a pretty snappy phone and it's a lot snappier than I thought it would be than past Motorola devices. This is a really, really nice performer as far as everyday usage and not being slow or sluggish. This thing really does knock it out of the park. It's very smooth. Uh, going back to the display, I would have preferred a higher refresh display. It's only 60 hertz. So if this had a 90 hertz display, man, this thing would just fly and be really, really smoother. A lot smoother than it is now, but no complaints in the performance department. This thing is a beast and I have no issues with, with it whatsoever. It performs well. Uh, no lagging, no nothing. It's a pretty snappy phone for what it is. So going on over to the build quality. Now this phone is made out of plastic, but it is a pretty solid build. As you can see, it's not hollow sounding whatsoever. It sounds solid and it's built really, really nicely. Uh, it's a very thick phone and a pretty heavy phone 
but it's not too bad and the uh, frame is also made out of plastic but this phone actually feels let me see if i can wipe this off a little bit it feels pretty nice in the hand it's got a nice curve to the back the display is flat but the build quality on here i think motorola did a pretty good job on the build quality it feels solid it does not feel cheap even though it's plastic i don't really have any scratches on here uh in the time that i've been using it and i have been using this without a case for some time too but it's a really nice build it feels solid in the hands buttons are nice and clicky no issues whatsoever uh, you do get a capacitive fingerprint sensor on the back which is also fast and snappy and you could also use it to uh bring down your notification shade on the uh on your home screen as well so that's really nice it gives you that gesture on the uh capacitive fingerprint sensor on the back but still really fast no issues with the fingerprint build quality nicely built solid phone going on over to the cameras uh, the cameras on here actually surprised me uh, the main sensor is a 48 megapixel main sensor. You also get an 8 megapixel ultra wide and a 2 megapixel macro. Let's face it, nobody really, really uses the macro lens. Uh, front facing camera is a 16 megapixel uh, camera. You can record 4K 30 frames per second on the rear and 1080p 30 frames per second on the front. And the pictures on here actually come out really good, a lot better than I thought they would. Uh, they look really nice in the daytime. They tend to fall apart a little bit in the nighttime, but still for this kind of phone and for Motorola, the pictures on here are really impressive. I do not have no issues whatsoever other than the low light performance. Pictures during the day and outside just come out really good. Video on here is pretty good. Uh, it's, it's above average. It's not, you know, no, no OnePlus or Samsung, but video on here actually is pretty good. No issues whatsoever. 1080p on the front, I would have liked to see 1080 a little bit something higher, like a 4K on the front, but considering the price of this device, I'm not complaining at all. Pictures on here look really good. Uh, you probably be seeing some pictures flash on your screen taken on a Motorola Ace. I'm just gonna call it the Motorola Ace. Uh, the battery on here, it's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Yes, a huge battery on the Motorola Ace. And I can tell you, that is definitely a strong point of this phone. I was able to get over 20 hours of usage and that's just watching videos, streaming music, using this normal, uh, not really playing any games or anything, I don't do that. But still using this to stream music, to watch videos and play music and text and do all of that stuff. Real life on here, really, really good for uh, this type of phone. And I was really, really impressed with that. I let this thing go until it died and it was like two days before this thing actually died on me uh charging i would prefer something a little bit quicker it's only 15 watt charging uh but it still does the job it's not the fastest in the world uh usb type c uh 2.0 on here so uh bluetooth point 5.1 as well uh, not the highest in specs but still a really really nice phone if you're looking for a nice budget durable phone the motorola ace is the way to go this phone if you could get this under 300 dollars, it is a bet i think t-mobile has it for like 260 so that is a really really good deal on here you could probably get it cheaper elsewhere but don't pay anything over 300 dollars. Uh, i think anything under this phone is worth it and is definitely a champ uh, no issues. I've been, definitely been enjoying this. Other than the display, I would have preferred something uh, more of an AMOLED panel. Uh, other than LCD, I really don't like LCD panels, but this one actually looks pretty good. Battery life, definitely a huge plus on here. You could get days of battery on this device, no problem. Cameras, definitely good enough for social media and for taking some nice shots. You definitely can do that with the Motorola Ace. Performance, Oh, flawless on here. I, this phone really surprised me in the performance department. It's got enough RAM, it's got enough storage, and a very capable chipset to give you a nice, pleasant experience. I would have preferred to see a 90 hertz refresh rate on here, but it is what it is. It's a budget phone, so you're not gonna get any high refresh rate on the display on a phone like this, but still, we could only hope for a future you know, high refresh display from Motorola. That would be really good. Audio on here, headphone jack, it's decent. The speaker, not that great. Bluetooth audio, really, really good on this phone. No issues. I love listening to music on here. 
it just sounds really good with all those equalizer effects um all the motorola actions to karate chop to turn on your light so yeah here is the moto app it allows you to personalize everything your styles your wallpaper your layout you could change your color your icon shapes your wallpapers everything you could change your layout everything on this phone you could really customize it really nicely all the gestures quick capture the flash the uh, fast flashlight works really well to karate chop to turn on and off your flashlight lift to unlock flip for do not disturb all the gestures on here the motorola includes is just very very nice uh everything works well the peak display that's pretty much your always on display they really do a good job with their uh their app and all their gestures on their devices it's, it's just really nice and i love all the gestures on here um, another complaint that i forgot to mention is that you really can't use any third-party launchers on here which is pretty sad only because the um gestures are built into the home launcher uh for me i was able to download nova launcher and use it but i had to download and install fluid navigation in order to use a third-party launcher so it was a bit of a hassle to do adb to activate this but in the end i was able to install and use nova launcher and still have all the gestures available on there so if you definitely want to install a third-party launcher I definitely uh, suggest going in and downloading Fluid Navigations and setting that up. That way you are able to do that. Uh, other than that, if you're not very tech savvy, you are going to be stuck with the Motorola launcher on here and no option to uh, be able to switch that out. So keep that in mind. But the Motorola One Ace, very, very excellent phone for the money. Uh, solid build. This thing is really nice. Uh, I've enjoyed my time with it. Three weeks with this device. No complaints other than the ones I mentioned earlier. Still solid device. Definitely recommend it to you guys if you want to check out a nice inexpensive phone. That will do the job and it is worth the money. So with that being said guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you didn't. Stay safe, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.